Hey everyone, Brobent here and welcome to the very first major patch for Sons of the Forest. In this video, I'm going to go through all the major changes and give you the rundown of what you need to be looking out for with this new update. There is a lot to cover, so let's just jump straight in and start talking about the big new features. First up, we've got the binoculars. Now, this is going to be a world pickup. I'm not going to be disclosing the location. You're going to have to find it yourself. What you do is you left click and you zoom in through the binoculars. There is no toggle zoom. You just have this one fixed zoom, but it's still really nice to have. Next up, we've got the hang glider. Now, this also is going to be a world pickup. One important note is you cannot put this in your inventory. It is a world object only. This hang glider obviously makes travel a lot easier. It's definitely more powerful than the one in the original forest. You can go a lot further with speed. It's honestly very useful. Again, I won't be telling you where this is. You're going to have to go find it yourself. Next up, we've got a very highly requested feature, which is the defensive wall gate. I don't know how this wasn't in the game before, but it wasn't. You can now build gates for your defensive walls. The way you do it is you build a normal wall, you get a log, and you can place it diagonally across the gate. And that is where the gate is going to be. Once you build the gate, you just press E to interact with it to open and close. There is a brand new mid-game boss fight that's been added to the food bunker. Once you get to the dining table, you will find two brand new mutants in here that are very well dressed. There is a male and female version, and they will both attack you at the same time. Do not go in this fight unprepared. Also in this location, the Mr. and Mrs. Puffton table cards have been turned into story pickups. The options screen has got a brand new reset settings button. So if you've messed up your settings, you can reset to factory default. Another highly requested feature is that you can now lock doors. Wow, that is important. You can now place a stick on the interior of the door and that will create a lock. All you do is press E to lock it and E to unlock. The cannibals will not be able to just walk in your base anymore. One very unexpected feature, but very useful, is that you can now pick up small structures like furniture and move it to a different location. Once it's picked up in your hand, you can also right click to break it down into its raw components. Really useful. That's going to be nice. There's some new headshot animation variations added for cannibals. Regular cannibals that are climbing in trees and are angry at you can now jump out of the tree and attack you directly. Something you've got to look out for. We've got two brand new settings to hide multiplayer name tags and also the throne trajectory and reticle for thrown items. The fish trap should now actually work and catch fish roughly every five to ten minutes. Obviously, it can only catch fish when it is placed in water and when it is not winter. Lookout towers have been added to some of the cannibal villages. Story paper pickups will now give you a hint to show that you can actually zoom in using left click. We've got a brand new structure type added to the game, something that I've wanted for a little while now, which is the one-sided apex. This will fill the space between a leaning beam and a supporting beam. This will be automatically handled for different variations of the quarter logs, so you don't have to worry about that. Awesome. Moving on to some side notes, we've got some brand new story elements added. They didn't say what, so you're going to have to find those in your adventures. You can now find and pick up Virginia's leather suit around the world. Moving on to some balancing changes, we now have a sleep cooldown, so you can no longer spam it and say sleep through winter. Regarding food, the energy drinks now give half as much hydration and less energy. Berries have also been tweaked to give slightly more fullness. The fullness and hydration levels for all herbs and mushrooms have been tweaked. They have tweaked two settings to do with hard mode. The first one is the enemy health has now been reduced to 1.25 times the normal rate, and they have also increased the cannibal armor health by 1.5 times. Some of you may not be happy to hear this, but the shotgun damage has been halved. This is a major nerf, but maybe it needed it. Kelvin's fishing command is no longer overpowered. After a little bit of time, he will just take a break and stop fishing. There's a new fix for caves having too many enemies when you're in the late game. Multiplayer Creepy's health now scales based on the amount of players active in the multiplayer session. All right, moving over to general improvements for the game. Bouncy logs no longer exist. That's a shame. Deer and moose should now have better pathfinding. The orientation of a door when you build it is now determined by the position of the player when placing it. The face in front of the player is always going to be the interior now. They've also deemed it necessary to add a player saving system for cutscenes. Not really sure how that's going to work, but I find that rather interesting. Moving on to the bug fixes section of the change log, there's going to be a very controversial one here. You can no longer clip through locked doors with a stick. RIP speedruns. Kelvin will no longer chop a tree down if you have a structure attached to it, such as a treehouse. 
Also, countless duplication bugs and resource duplication bugs have been completely wiped out. When you add split logs to a blueprint and automatically split the log, it will now no longer duplicate the resource. A bug has been fixed for when you would slide down hills either when in the inventory or the utility book. You can no longer attach both the laser sight and the flashlight weapon mods to the crossbow at the same time. A bug has been fixed with Virginia not returning weapons with the correct amount of ammo or weapon upgrades. Also, a rather interesting bug that was fixed is you can no longer now push players through terrain by standing on their head. Apparently that was a thing. There's also been various AI fixes for cannibals and NPCs throughout. So there we have it, that's everything you need to know in the very first major update for Sons of the Forest. There is things I left out intentionally because it's just so minor, you don't need to hear about it. However, if you want to read the full change log, the link is in the description. Don't forget to drop a like on your way out, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.